All right, friends, it's currently pouring. Hold on, I need to catch you up on how I got here. I took a flight from Calgary to New York City. I dog sat for three days while trying to keep my old habits from creeping in. And finally, when I had a day to jump on the train to explore Manhattan, it was the day with the worst weather. But let's keep exploring. All right, friends, it's currently pouring. So not a lot of vlogging happening today because my poor camera will get destroyed. Super thankful for this Lululemon rain jacket. We're testing out my backpack to see how well it does in the rain. The shoe situation is not the best and you're probably wondering why am I wearing white sneakers? Well, my running shoes are very mesh and very wet. So these actually have kind of a rubber sole. So far so good, but I did pack an extra pair of socks for the train ride home. I'm just at the New York City Public Library. I'd love to show you things but my camera's gonna get soaked, so you'll just have to believe me. I'm walking probably about 50 minutes to the Chelsea Market and instead of taking the train, I'm walking because I think on the way home is when I'm gonna really wanna take the train. So I'll save my three bucks for then. Alright, my friends, we made it to the Chelsea Market. I've just sat down and got myself a coffee. I'm absolutely drenched. My hair's good because I get my rain jacket on the whole time. My Lululemon rain jacket is bomb. And I had on my Eddie Bauer button down, which didn't get any rain on it except for the sleeves. And then I have my vest and then my shirt. And my backpack was really successful in keeping everything dry. My pants, not so much. I feel like it makes them look like they're actually supposed to be that color. But we're just gonna sit for a second, have a cruise around, get some food, yeah, and just explore. All right, we're still at the Chelsea Market, just finishing my coffee, but it's about almost five o'clock, so I figured it was time to get some food. Since I only really had a bagel at like 10 a.m. That's why I had a banana while walking in the rain. I really like this because it's all underground, the market. We're at Pearl River Mart Foods, which is at the bottom of the market at the very back. And we're getting some vegetable bao dumplings. I don't know which one they actually are. I don't know if it's bao or dumplings, so we'll find out. The poor gal that made these looked less than enthused to have to make them for me. And then I waved at her and she like wouldn't come out to bring them to me. Okay, let's give them a try. They are vegetable, which I believe they have a cabbage, mushroom, spinach, and sad. Tasty. <laughs> Heavy on the cabbage. I wish there was a little bit more mushroom, a little bit like fattier tasting, but pretty good. funny because I kept debating what type of food to get. I thought about almost getting a curry worse, but then I thought I should just wait till I'm in Berlin. But I almost got tacos. I almost got other Korean food. There's so many different varieties here, but I know I ended up, I think because it's quiet down here and a little bit less crowded, I like to be, just having my own space while I eat. Here inside the Chelsea Market, there's an area that's called Artists and Fleece. It's a place where various vendors sell hip, handmade crafts, jewelry, antiques, and vintage clothing inside the Chelsea Market, which is a fun way to get something other than food while visiting the Chelsea Market. It's a nice way also to support local and up-and-coming artists in their craft. I leave the Chelsea Market, I would let you know the mask wearing, it's April 2022. It's about half and half. It's like voluntary, so you don't have to. No one's really enforcing it, but... Oh, jeez, that door. But no one's really not doing it either, so... And I forgot to mention, my feet are surprisingly warm and dry. This coat was amazing, but you definitely feel the inside's just kind of damp and icky now. 
It looks like the rain has slowed down, so to the High Line we go. I think I don't like about walking in the rain is I have to keep my hood on, and it's very, like I feel like I'm like a horse with blinders on. I can only see so much. I'm always proud of myself when I find something without looking it on the map. I knew that this bridge was the High Line. I just didn't know how to get up there. And then we found the stairs and that says the High Line. Here we can look at it. Oh, nice. I think I'm here right now. Transport and I think I need to go up now to 14th. So, hope I don't get lost again. Okay, we're at 10th up. Uh, uh. 10th Avenue 16th. Oh, so we have to go back. Okay, let's go down to. There's the high line. I can see it. All right, I found the 14th Street entrance on my own. I'm probably not gonna film a lot because it's rainy and it's still friends. But we're gonna go. So it is a really cool park because they have built in like wooden benches here and then you're above I guess a story or two or like a really large first floor. Plenty of benches. Would be nice to see the water if you could. This area is covered. It's funny I've been here in February before and it's really bringing back my memory of being in New York in 20. 12, 10 years ago. I also love that we have recycling. Not quite compost yet. I haven't seen a lot of compost situations. It's like in this cement jungle, this tiny piece of greenery. And a mini statue of Liberty. <laughs> there she is. I've come to the Hudson Yard in search of a bathroom and honestly just to dry, like I'm soaked. I don't think my rain jacket was dry before. My pants are like back to being bad. My feet are still okay, but this is just rubbery feeling now and I was worried about my camera and my phone being in my pocket still, even though it, it's actually been pretty good. Just gotta get up to level four for the restrooms. Of course, they make you like shop the whole way through, right? I am just too soaked to keep walking. I was really enjoying the high line, but it started to get really windy and crazy and my jacket just wasn't dry from the first time and my pants have about a foot and a half of wetness on the front. So I was planning to go to Starbucks, saw the Whole Foods and then looked to left and was like, mm, I think that's a shopping mall. I see a Zara sign. So we're inside here now and I'm just charging my phone and honestly just drying my pants. And it's surprisingly quiet. I mean, it is a weekday, but it's after 5 p.m. There's a really busy restaurant, but otherwise it's like almost dead in here, but super clean, marble-like floors. Part of solo travel that I think is so interesting is that at times you're just sitting in random places by yourself just to take like a break or recoup or obviously to film right now. And I'm quite enjoying it. And it's just nice just to slow down and enjoy the moment. Um, I have to wait until 8.15 to take the train home because I only have off-peak tickets. So I have to take the less busy trains. And I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do since it's outside. I'll we'll figure out what to do. I'm warm though. I've been wearing, I have a t-shirt on. I have this like linen, like long sleeve. I have my Eddie Bauer vest and down jacket and then I had a rain jacket on top. I even have my toque with me. My feet are still feeling well. So just a little bit of an odd human nearby. They came up, had a coffee and snacks and left all their stuff on the table, which drives me crazy. And they just came back up the elevator. Keep an eye on my bag just in case. This backpack did well just this front zipper. I think the rain gets caught in there or drips down. I mean, it's very wet right now, but inside it's pretty good. I even have a book in there and it's doing really well. So nice water bottle holder. This is the Osprey Ophelia. These are soaked, but 
do a little friend. Sorry for the crappy quality. We're still in Hudson Yards. We've wasted about an hour here and I'm gonna slowly make my way back up about 15 blocks to Grand Central Station to catch the train back to where I'm staying. I wish it wasn't raining because I would just like walk and explore, but honestly it's making it really hard to like just explore and have fun. So I'll get some food on the way and home we go. All right, we're on the train right home, but unfortunately when I stopped to grab myself dinner, I realized I forgot or lost the train ticket I have, which is 10 tickets, $83 US, which is like 100 bucks Canadian. I don't know where it is, so I had to buy one single ticket. I'm pretty pissed off. I think it's in my backpack. I don't think I dropped it anywhere, but it's not at home. So I'm just uploading my Instagram story as I like to do on this train ride, and then I'm gonna go to bed. I had the most amazing conversation with a woman from Virginia. It was just really soulful.